Welcome, my name is David Tierney. I am a web designer and developer and I do some work with WordPress and wanted to provide an introductory video to the uh, back-end admin area for WordPress for my clients uh, and for anybody who's interested. Uh, WordPress is what's called a content management system and it happens to be at this point the most popular, uh, most used content management system in the world. Um, it wasn't initially designed I believe as a content management system, it was designed as a blogging platform uh, but it's become that through its popularity and through its ease of use. Uh, the the WordPress admin area refers to, it's also referred to sometimes as the back end, is the area where you as a owner of a website have the ability to add, edit, modify, and otherwise uh, control and manage the content and functionality and appearance of your website. Um, so what you would be given either by wherever however you got your website, you should have uh, access to a login page and a username and a password. So once you enter those in, what, where that will take you will be to the dashboard, which is where we're at right now. Um, the dashboard is a summary page which provides some general information about your website um, and some information about WordPress. First thing I want to show you is that uh, throughout your, your uh, moving from screen to screen within the WordPress admin area, there's going to be these bars or they may look up, show up as boxes of content. Everything is for the most part broken up into boxes and on the right side, right top corner, is a little arrow that generally will expand and contract any of these boxes of content. It allows you to keep your, uh, your admin area somewhat fresh and clean and when you've got everything opened up it can be a bit unwieldy uh, and a lot, a lot easier to get around when you keep things closed up that you're not using um, and so they, they allow for that convenience uh, as long as you know that you can expand and find content that way. It's the same thing, this is the main navigation area for your WordPress admin which will be the same no matter what admin screen you're on and you can see the little arrows pop up here as I move my cursor and you can click on them I click expands click it closes up same thing with all of these um, second thing I want to show you is the ease and convenience with which you can move back and forth between your admin area and the front facing uh, view of your website the, the view that the public would see if they came to your website so by just clicking, I'm going to go back again, in the admin area at the top here is the name of your website which also acts as a link. We click on it and it takes us right to the front page of our website. Um, so here's the front page of this temporary demo website that I created. Um, and when you're logged in, at the top of your front facing website will be these buttons that will allow you to then navigate back to your WordPress admin area. Uh, conveniently. You can either log out, edit your profile, you can go to the dashboard which is where we started out. Clicking edit page is one of the most useful buttons because no matter what page you're on, if you click edit page that will take you to the screen that will allow you to edit the content of the current page you're on. So for example if you're navigating around your website, your public facing website, and you, you go to a page and you, you read it and you notice, huh, that's, I misspelled the word or I want to change the content. You can go right to this edit page button, click on it, and it will take you right to the screen, which we won't go into detail right now, what would allow you to actually edit the content right here uh, of this particular page. And then once you've edited it, you can return right back to it. You can also, uh, on your public facing website, you can add, add a new post or a page, many other things, modify comments and change the appearance and, uh, and navigate and manage updates. So what we're going to do is we're going to return back to the dashboard now and take a look at the main navigation. Um, what we've got here is we've got three sections, 
we've got the dashboard and the slight spacer, and then we've got posts, media, links, pages, and comments. We've got a little break. And then we've got appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings. The, uh, the second grouping here is mostly for content that, uh, that you would be editing um, and working with on a more regular basis. Uh, and down below, this last grouping is more functional uh, settings for your website, uh, with the exception of this section here called widgets. This uh, is where you control um, content that does go on your, your, your public facing website uh, oftentimes found in sidebars or at the bottom or at the top of uh, a particular pages. And other times you may have other menus down here besides these basic ones because you can add additional functionality to your website uh, by adding what's called a plugin. Um, you can install, you can view your installed plugins or add new plugins and some plugins is what they're called that add new functionality will add new menus to your main navigation but generally they will be either added below here as main navigation or they may be added uh, as separate uh, entries into your settings or um, or one of these other uh, main navigation topics based on the particular functionality of what you've added onto your website. So now that we've given a general overview of how you can navigate back and forth between your public facing website and your admin area and uh, the general navigation tools allowing you to move around your website such as being able to expand and contract to see content in the main area of your admin and to expand and contract the navigation topics in the navigation. Let's take a quick look at some of the areas that you would uh, most be working with as you would be editing your website. So we're going to look a quick look at pages. We're going to click on the down arrow and click on all pages and we'll see that here's a list of all the pages of the website and if we wanted to edit one of these pages we could either click on the name or on the edit button. It'll take us to the same screen and that's the screen we saw a little bit earlier where you've got the title. You can simply put your cursor in here uh, change it, type something else, uh, and, uh, and or you can come down here which is the content, the, the written content of the, the main section of that page and you can change that as well using these, uh, these buttons, bolding, italicized, uh, ordered lists, etc. to change the content and then there's a blue button over here that says update, you would click that and update it uh, and that would be as simple as it would be to go in and edit a page on your website. So you would log in, you'd be in your dashboard, you would uh, navigate to the list of pages, click on the name of the page, edit your content, hit update, uh, and you're done. Same thing with posts. If you've got a blog post and you want to add a new blog post or edit a blog post, Let's say we want to look at a blog post that have already been created and edit one. Same thing, we click on all posts. We would click on uh, the name of the post, edit the content, hit update, and, uh, and we're good. And the third area I want to take a quick look at is uh, it's called widgets. A little bit more complex, but again, these will all be covered in future videos. You click on widgets. Widgets is a whole different concept and what you've got here is, uh, is specific areas that have been designated by the programmer of your website such as a primary and a secondary, secondary area which are usually in a sidebar and then you've got uh, functional um, functionalities that you can add such as if you wanted to add a search bar into the sidebar of your website you would literally just click here Actually, search is already there. Let's say we wanted to add it into the secondary sidebar. We would grab this little box in this left section here of available widgets, drag it over here, and just drop it right in. It asks us for some customizations, like what do you want to title it, etc. Uh, and then you would hit save, and uh, and that that would that would be all that would be needed to add a search bar onto your website. So to a certain degree, you can add quite a bit of flexibility, very quick and easy. You just need to have a little bit more understanding about how the widgets work, how they're placed on your website, how to customize them. Um, but uh, it's not it's not uh, it's not too hard. Don't be intimidated by it. 
Um, and actually, one more thing I would take a quick look at is menus. If you click on menus, you'll see we've got uh, the main menu, just as it is on the public facing website. We've got about, we've got this, uh, this sub page here. Uh, you, can, you can change the menu on your website, the main menu, which I'll look at in a second just for, to correlate it, by dragging and dropping here as well. So if we didn't want this to be a sub page anymore, we could literally just drag it over here and now it's not a sub page, save menu and we go click and go to a front facing website and we'll see that this is no longer a sub menu and we did that by just moving, going to the menu section of the admin area and, uh, and moving the relationship of these pages so making changes to your website can be very simple uh, and uh, taking the time to, to work with it and uh, get used to it um, it will be easy for you as well. I think that's it for this introduction and I hope you will return back for some more and uh, I hope you get comfortable with your website and uh, good luck to you.